Hey, the College World Series, the fans and the players are now in Omaha. The first pitch will be thrown out tomorrow afternoon at 2 o'clock at TD Ameritrade Park. Many of the teams got in town yesterday with most hitting the field for practice. At this year's games, fans can expect a few of their old favorites and some new changes. For the first time ever, the stadium will sell beer and wine, and there will be a family fun zone for children nearby. KMTV Action 3 News reporter Shante Passmore is live downtown at the CWS with the latest. Shante, good morning. What can fans expect? Good morning, Matt and Dan. You know, I'm right outside the Fan Fest, and literally the heat is on for CWS as games one and two start tomorrow. Now, here's what you can expect. We're talking about some good food, but some new menu items such as dessert nachos, a home run burger, and one giant taquito. And then who can resist washing that down with some cool adult beverages, especially with temperatures remaining hot for the series. Now, this year, organizers approved alcohol sales for beer and wine. And with that, Omaha police will be cracking down on alcohol enforcement especially for minors, those with open al alcohol containers and DUIs. And teams will be trying to find ways to stay cool under their collar, so fans are probably going to have to rely on local businesses and vendors to keep them frosty. Well, we already had things planned out about how many burgers we were going to get and stuff like that, but it, I mean, coming into this week, we really upped our water sales. We do blizzards, uh, Astros, shakes, malts, um, and I think ice cream is the perfect way to fight off the heat. Now, as for the family fun zone, it'll be set up with the Ferris wheel, food trucks, and face paintings. Now, again, games start again tomorrow at 2. We've got Oklahoma State and UC Santa Barbara going head-to-head. -head. Go Gauchos. And then at 7, we've got the Miami Hurricanes and the Arizona Wildcats taking the field. Reporting live in downtown Omaha, Shante Passmore, KMTV, Action 3 News this morning.